Ikigai driven, follow your passion. Oh my god, 600 horsepower! What up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're finally going to take apart the K24. We're planning to take these coil packs out, remove the head, remove some of the sensors. Basically, this is just gonna be a tear down. First thing you wanna do is to make sure to drain the oil. Eventually. These should be trusty tens. These coil packs just come up, you just pull on them. After the coil packs are removed, you just want to start working on these tents that are all of the valve cover. Crack everything open. Now we can take off the valve cover. I put a flathead screwdriver around the base. Just wiggle it out. The valve cover is off. You also want to make sure you take out the spark plug. Removing the, the timing chain tensioner. Removing the timing chain tensioner cover. These are very easy to go bad. These timing chain tensioners. That's why they made that little door. So you can replace it easily. Timing chain tensioner out. We're gonna continue with these cam caps. The studs, the cam cap are 12 millimeter bolts. This diagram is from the Honda service manual. It basically tells you which order to remove the bolts from the cam caps to prevent any damage to them. The easiest way to get the cam cap out, you take the front two bolts, the Intake side, exhaust side, you take the bolts, make sure everything else is loose, and you start rocking this. There we go. Cam caps are all off. This exhaust cam just picks up so nicely. Got the exhaust cam out. The intake and the exhaust camshafts are off. I have them in this bin right here. So right now, we're gonna tie the rockers. You see the rockers have this spring inside. You don't wanna lose that. There's a little dowel in here. Another pin on this side. Here's another diagram from the Honda service manual. So you wanna make sure you have this all down, zip tie all of them, and then we're, we'll be ready to take the top portion of the rockers off. Just zip tied all the rockers together. Intake and exhaust side, they're all zip tied together. And now we're going to take the rocker assembly off. Now we're taking this rocker assembly off. 
Ta-da! Alright, we just took the rocker assembly off. And we finally get to see valve springs, head studs, lost motion springs. So now all we have to do is to find a friend that will, helps you hold on to the crank gear while you unbolt this 19 millimeter bolt. Uh, take down this timing chain cover and then we'll take off the head. I'll show you an easy way. People say, people say you need a special Honda tool. Let me show you. 19 millimeter socket on there. You wanna put your foot on this crank pulley and then, no, just kidding. I actually loosened this bolt up before with the Honda tool. It basically fits into this, basically fits into this hole and it stabilizes the pulley while you remove the crank bolt. See the crank bolt, the crank actually comes out. Oh, crank came, crank pulley came right off. You see, this is the key that just sits in there. Nice. Start taking off the bolts for the timing chain cover. All right, guys. Sorry, the camera memory card ran out. So we're in the process of taking off this timing chain cover. I put a flathead screwdriver up here against the chain guides, and I was able to pry it off. And I'm gonna try to. Still a little RTV on there. Voila. Alright guys, this video is not over. Just went to Pet Boys, picked up this 14 millimeter 12 point socket, got it right here. And this is what you need to take off the head studs. This diagram shows you which head studs you need to remove first. I'm taking out these head studs. There's one, two, three, four, five, five on each side. We're taking them out. Once we get them all out, then we'll be able to take the head off the block. All right guys, taking the head off. Rock it back and forth. Thank you guys so much for coming with me on this journey. I've never opened a motor before. I've never built a motor before, but it was always my childhood dream to build my own car. And finally, at old man age, I'm doing it. Ikigai driven, follow your passion. Anyways, if you like what you see, stay tuned. We're gonna be tearing the rest of the K24 motor and we're hopefully we're going to be rebuilding it for some boost stay tuned peace <laughs>